On Japan's Pacific coast sits what's regarded as the nation's most dangerous nuclear power plant. When the Hamaoka facility was designed and built, the reactors were placed carefully around fault lines which lie directly beneath. Since it started operating in 1976, it's been dogged by problems. So much so that the operator, Chubu Electric Power Company, decommissioned two of its reactors. Minoru Ito has lived near the plant since it was opened. He believes it and the rest of Japan's nuclear stations should be shut down permanently after the earthquake and tsunami at Fukushima. No, this, eh? In Japan, we have so many earthquakes, nuclear plants shouldn't exist. If the government continues with nuclear energy, it will ruin Japan. This wall is designed to protect the power station from a tsunami. It's about six meters high. Most estimates put the wave which struck the Fukushima plant at around 10 meters, so clearly this is no longer big enough. Chubu Electric is planning to double the size of the wall to 12 meters. Less than 200 kilometers to the north lies Japan's capital, where the operator of the crippled Fukushima plant is coming under increasing pressure. A small crowd gathered outside the headquarters of the Tokyo Electric Power Company to voice their anger at its handling of the crisis. The protests seemed to go completely unnoticed by the Japanese media, but across the road there were plenty of other plain-clothed bystanders. They watched and filmed whoever turned up, but were camera-shy themselves. The Japanese journalists could be found inside the TEPCO building, waiting for the latest update from management. One reporter who wasn't there was Takashi Uesugi. He's a freelancer who's now out of work after he criticized TEPCO for mistakes made after the tsunami struck. The Japanese mass media is basically sponsored by TEPCO through advertising. So far, nobody from the mass media has criticized TEPCO, only freelancers. The disaster at Fukushima has prompted the Japan government to review its energy policy. It's unlikely to abandon nuclear power altogether, but the uncertainty may see some companies hedge their bets and invest more in alternative sources. Wayne Hay, Al Jazeera, Hamaoka, Japan.